And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. We step outside this morning, very mild out there. You can see temperatures are in the uh, upper 50s in some locations. 57 Monticello, 57 Rochester, up to uh, 53 Flora, 55 Delphi. Good morning to us here in Lafayette, 54, 49 though in Crawfordsville. So probably don't need that light jacket, but overall not too bad. High pressure continuing to be off to our south and to our east. That's what's giving us that south wind. And it's going to ramp up later today. We have very dry air in place, and that's what's going to par probably elevate a fire threat for today. Not too high since we are still kind of in the uh, beginning stages of the growing season. The grass is pretty green, but uh, still just be cautious out there if you do plan on uh, doing any outdoor burning for today. It's very windy. Gusts could reach up to 25 plus up to 30, 32 miles per hour at times. So windy, but it'll remain sunny. A few high level clouds this morning, but we'll get up to 80 degrees in some locations across the viewing area. Very warm afternoon, slightly cooler as dew points begin to kind of go up here the next few days. We'll be seeing a little bit more thin high layer clouds for tomorrow afternoon. 79 we will wake up once again tomorrow morning to the lower 50s, but not as windy tomorrow. Uh, for our Thursday, so really not a bad day ahead of us tomorrow as well. Future cast, not much to show here for today except the strong southerly flow that we'll have for Thursday. Just a few more high clouds expected, but for Friday, uh, we'll definitely increase clouds a little bit more. Mid to high level clouds will be expected. We'll still have some dry air in the lower levels, so I think I'll take out some of the rain chances that I've had in the last few days for Friday. Kind of save it here for Saturday. Most of Saturday for right now appears dry up until this cold front. You can see that uh, kind of southwesterly, northwesterly wind that'll begin to push eastward. And I think by Saturday evening into early Sunday, we'll have that line of showers, maybe a few thunderstorms, some of which could be strong to severe. It doesn't look like a widespread event but may have lingering showers early Sunday morning, and then that will clear out and that'll give way to that northwest wind, cooling us down ultimately for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, then back into the 60s and 70s later in the week. 79 tomorrow, 77 for Friday. A little bit more clouds on Friday, still breezy, then it gets windy for Saturday and Sunday ahead of that cold front. May see an up in temperatures just a little bit on Saturday since we'll kind of be in that warm sector. But then things cool down for Sunday afternoon. High temperatures 56 isolated rain chances really in the morning, early afternoon. And then going into the rest of the 10 day here, you can see those temperatures start to warm up. But notice that morning low on Tuesday 33 could see areas of frost. Something to keep in mind here, but then as we get toward the rest of next week, look for highs back in the 70s, Joe. Yeah, a little rain in the forecast for mm -hmm. the weekend, but uh, let's get a zoo opening day forecast. How's it looking? <laughs> That's for uh, sa Saturday, Saturday, 10 a.m. Yeah. You know, uh, as I mentioned, I think most of Saturday morning afternoon looks fairly dry. It'll be uh, pretty windy. It'll start to get windy Saturday night with that front coming through, but as of right now, looks fairly good. Maybe a little cloudy at times, but we watch for those storms coming in Saturday night, Joe. All right, good news, and I think me and you will both probably end up taking our families to the oh. zoo, but I'm going to pass on opening day because I think it's going to be just a little, <laughs> a little bit busy. A little busy, <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's uh, definitely in our calendar for sure at some point uh, during the next uh, several months. I'm sure we'll make several visits. Yeah, yeah, great place to go. All oh, right, yes. thank you, David. Yeah.